Prolin PLN. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at a few commands available in the Solid Edge wire harness environment. In this example, we need to define our motor as an electrical component and assign terminals to it. In Solid Edge, all definitions and terminals can be created as PMI annotation. This allows users to label them in the part, but then read their information on wire creation and routing. Best practices dictates naming the motor appropriately, then use whatever pin naming scheme necessary to properly identify the terminals later. Now that all of our components are defined, we can now go to our harness creation tools and begin routing. The first step shows an existing cable that was brought in through our wire import, and rather than having to create custom paths to route through, Solid Edge has a command allowing users to utilize existing clips to route wires and cables through. If the routing orientation is not what you're expecting, we can press the F key to flip the direction of the route. Users now have the ability to associate any circular faces, including partial rounds, in their selections to create the desired results. Once we've got our longest cable placed, we're going to utilize the existing path created to bundle other wires into the harness. Another capability in wire harness is splitting paths. And notice how selecting a path in an area that doesn't already have an associated control point adds a blue dot. Placing our first split across from our motor terminals and our second on the control point on the edge of the clip allows for an input and output for new wires to be bundled. Notice that routing a 3D sketch allows us to easily get our desired results in a fraction of the time. Using the control point, a blue dot created on splitting the path makes an appropriate anchor point for two new paths to complete the run. Using new paths that connect to a split allow users to bundle several runs together to create the desired harnesses. Once our path is in place, it's time to create our wires. We have the ability to pull our PMI information that we created earlier. Selecting our component information option, we can quickly see terminal layout and appropriately create the wires. Additionally, now filtering options with the wire creation command allows us to only look at defined terminals in order to narrow down our key point selection options. This is going to save a lot of time in selecting the exact terminal geometry. We know from our electrical engineer exactly what our terminal connections uh, are for our associated components, so we're going to quickly create a couple of wires and use the path we created earlier to bundle them into an existing harness. Knowing how we plan to bundle the wires gives us a good idea of the directions they need to go, and using Solid Edge routing capabilities, we can put everything in the proper direction. Uh, of course, if we ever need to change it around, editing wires and paths is a breeze, as you can see. Now that our wires are in place, all that's left is to bundle them. Allowing for paths to be split and reused allows for making harnesses and bundles that not only represent appropriate location, but Solid Edge also can calculate the diameter of the cables and bundles based off of how many and what size wires are running through them. Here, we're simply going to change the color of the new created bundle to differentiate from the others. Creating the physical conductors gives us a real 3D representation of wires and allows us to see the exact sizes. Once routed, notice that our bundle is associated to the geometry used for creation. We split the path using the clip's center point, therefore the bundle moves where it moves, and similarly for the blue dot. For our final routing task, we need to wire in our second converter component. For this, we need to splice our new wires into the existing cable. Using the splice command, we can easily define which wires we want to splice, or in this case, an entire cable. There are several different splices available to be represented, and here we're just going to use a barrel splice. A sphere is created to represent the splice feature in which we can now route new wires, or if the situation called for it, remove a wire. We can quickly place the wires necessary using our terminals for each anchor point and the splice feature as the endpoint. Quickly creating our wires to join to the splice, and uh, we've completed all of the necessary routing tasks.
So you can see routing in Solid Edge is both easy and intuitive. Using the route through part command, wire creation options, path splitting and reuse capability and allowing for physical splice representations saves time and hassle, even on the most complex of wire harnesses. ProLim PLM.